everybody. This is Februlage. Februlage is February when us collages act on a prompt and create a collage based on that prompt for every day of that wonderfully short month. So I'm going to show you some of my favorites and others that were not so much my favorites, but other people like them. Everything was posted on my Instagram and my Facebook and of course here on YouTube. This was actually one of the first images and it's not terribly complete. It was a prompt about fish. If you can see the bikini area, those are images of fish along with a diving bell helmet. And this is only a portion of that collage. I relied heavily on Photoshop to complete it and you will see the full image next. Smile consists of a smile and also an, another interesting piece of collage. I mainly work with analog collage material cut and paste, but with this challenge, I worked a lot also with Photoshop. With Smile, I simply put the pieces together on different backgrounds. One of the other prompts was Cactus. And it wasn't actually one of my more favorite pieces, although I did like using contemporary magazine pieces with a vintage look. The woman in the image is from an old music book. I wasn't crazy about this collage for a couple of reasons. I wanted to show her really hugging on a cactus. This was the best I could do. And in the limited amount of time, it didn't give me a chance to give in to my perfectionism. This was the final result. Another prompt was Frankenstein. I do like this collage a lot. And that's because it really took on its interpretation for me. Frankenstein is about pieces and parts that make something up, something that might be disturbing and something that might be beautiful almost like a Pygmalion quality. And that's what I went with for this collage. A human heart, human teeth, human hand, and lasers coming out of a statue's eye. Whether or not others would feel the same way that it's a good interpretation for something Mary Shelley wrote about, this is actually one of my favorite pieces from the challenge. I call this piece all the money in the world. It is a reference to my own collage techniques where I take the model space, cut it out, save the features, and put on ephemera on the back within a template. This is actually one of my favorite pieces also, and I did scan it into Photoshop and gave it its very own background. Bridges was a collage that was also scanned as different pieces into Photoshop. It was a recycled collage for the challenge. There were days that I was very busy and had to rely on old work so I had something to post. Originally, when I posted this collage, I was astounded by all the hits it got. Well, for me anyway. It also fit the prompt for Bridges, so I figured, why not? Proud to say I was one of the featured artists that day because of this little collage. The prompt for this tiny piece was Mushroom. And I do remember the title for this piece was Mushroom Man Escapes. When you see the final image, you'll notice the background was, I'm not sure what the term is, the photography term, but it was a negative of a spider webs, a negative of a spider web. And I just placed him on the top after I cut him out with different images of mushrooms, scanned it, and that's all she wrote. Actually, it's very whimsical and one of the pieces I enjoyed doing the most. Now this was a quickie that I felt came out pretty good. The prompt was exits and I didn't really know what I wanted to do. That was actually one of the tougher prompts that I encountered, but that's what I love so much about these challenges. It's that exact exactness that I think I need to follow, but it's left to your interpretation. And that's why I love collage so much. What was really cool about this piece was that I was able to use a vintage, a vintage ad with a black and white contemporary image and a fairly contemporary background as well. Again, scanning it into Photoshop and cropping it made for a really clean piece. 
the prompt for this piece was chocolate. And when you see the final image, you'll notice all of this is going to be cropped out. Now, I'm not a big chocolate person, and I actually struggled finding imagery of chocolate. But again, that's part of the challenge. Find that imagery that's going to match. And then going along again with your interpretation. I'm not one to refuse a piece of chocolate or a challenge or a collage. So this was the final result. The prompt on this collage was geometric. And I was really excited about it at first. I thought I could do all sorts of different things with this image, and I believe I did. In the end, was I happy with it? I was glad it was clean. I was glad I had something to post at the end of the day, but honestly, it wasn't one of my favorites. However, the people that were orchestrating the challenge actually highlighted this. I was flattered, but I didn't really understand why. Who knows? Again, art is subjective, and sometimes we're our harshest critic. This next piece relied heavily on my Photoshop skills in that I basically put the whole thing together in Photoshop and tweaked it a bit. And what was the prompt? Dinosaurs. But for some reason, all I could find were images of hands and I had a lot of fun with this piece. The final image was crafted almost entirely in Photoshop which is something I don't like to do all the time, but I always begin with the analog way before I head into digital. Nothing but respect, mad respect for you digital collages out there. A nice little minimal piece for the theme here called boat. I didn't realize that I didn't have too many images of boats. This was the best one that I could come up with. And it's actually one of my favorites because it's so simple. The next theme was called Celestial. This image is only a portion of it, as is this. I had this biblical image already cut up and ready to go for another collage years ago. Never used it and never made it into a project. Made it into this challenge. And it's actually a piece that I am very proud of. If you're a fan of the channel, you might recognize this piece. The theme was shoes, and we did a video on it called Fetish. Fetish can be many different things. I thought about shoes, put it together. That's how I came up with the title, but it was designed especially for Fevrilage's challenge. The theme for this collage was listen. And you probably recognize this also if you've been a fan of the channel, and I thank you for that. We did a video on this piece as well. What made it so much fun was I wanted to go with ears. I think a lot of people did, and some other artists did really interesting collages using ears. That day, I went for a walk, and I found a magazine called Listen. And it was a music magazine, and I thought about it. Yeah, that works. We listen with music. We listen in many different ways. So this was actually one of my favorite collages. The theme for this collage was ghost. Most of this collage, well, actually the majority of this collage was constructed in Photoshop. I have to give myself a pat on the back because I don't give myself very much credit with my digital skills but this was my favorite collage. I was able to play with opacities and translucencies like I never did before. And I've been wanting to use the image of this man for the longest time. I also love the title because, well, it's meant to be bittersweet, nostalgic, but the title for this piece was On Sunny Days I Think of You. I hope you like it too, because this was my favorite piece from the entire challenge. The prompt for this piece was weep, and I went literal with it. It also allowed me to use some bottle label art that I had stashed. Another fun example of mixing contemporary and vintage ephemera. Another recycled piece for the prompt house. This work was a very short video from last year on the channel, titled The Provider. I had a very busy day for this prompt, Tide, but I relied heavily on what my interpretation was. In this case, at the races, the photo finishes. I used the silhouette of a model and scanned both images into Photoshop. Strong was the prompt for this image, also a recycle from 2020, 
right before the pandemic hit. If you're able to look closely at the map used for the man's body, you can see Disneyland in Anaheim, California, giving the collage its original title, The Happiest Place on Earth. Okay, confession time. The prompt was wings, but this piece was originally for the dinosaur prompt. In fact, the prehistoric bird I used for the focal point was a rendering of the dinosaur that is ancestral to our feathered friends. What did I do? Well, I had the image in an atlas of birds, and I was desperate and in a hurry. So, I cut a book that I never intended to use for collage work. I know, I could have scanned it, but I was so busy that day, I had to resort to desperate measures. It was worth it, the collage was well received, and I am proud of it. I hope you like it too. There was a gentleman on my Instagram who left a very kind comment regarding this collage. The theme was journey, and again, it is always left up to our interpretation. I wanted to go on a spiritual journey and knew exactly what route I wanted to take. This next prompt was me. Tempting to take the self-portrait route, but like Journey and Frankenstein and Dinosaur, I knew the possibilities were truly endless. I had fun with this collage, especially with the monochromatic black and white background and the iridescent heart. Another blast from the past for the sunflower prompt, and truthfully, that's not a sunflower in the upper left quadrant. But I do love this old collage I did way back in 2014. It lives on my hard drive now, since the original went to a friend for a milestone birthday. From 2014, the Rocket Man's family is special to me, not just as the last day of Februarage, that prompt was future, but it was entirely comprised of scan pieces. In other words, my substrate was a scanner bed, and I carefully arranged my ephemera on the scanner until I achieved the composition I wanted. This collage was quickly disassembled, and lives on my hard drive too. Although it is very similar to the coin prompt, the theme for this collage was cloth. I had a Life magazine from the early 60s with a beautiful illustration of coins, so I was able to use it twice in this challenge. Again, mixing and matching old and new imagery is one of my favorite ways to draw contrast in collage. This collage has gotten a lot of exposure from two challenges, Februarage and a call and response project, it too found a home with a good friend, and the prompt was photography. I built it back in June of this year, and ever since then, I am deeply drawn to using images of vintage cameras in my work. Another analog cut and paste hybrid, the prompt was life. It was another busy day, and I had to pull from my resources. And this piece, I believe, uh, replicates what life is all about for some of us. I played a lot with Photoshop with this one, with variations and color saturation. Well, that's it. February 2023. I had a great time, and I thank you again for joining me on this collage journey.